Okay, WWE title is the big title. It's worth it all. Yeah. Roman Reigns wins it and holds it for like ever. Mm -hmm. Four years almost. Like, yeah, the also, the, the bloodline sure throughout that entire <laughs> period pretty much. Not the entire period, but for. Yeah. I will most is of it. Most of it. Uh, just a menace, right? Wreaking havoc. Um, and then there's some, there. Yes. What is the bloodline, and who is a part of it? There's a. I got the diagram. I George, I've been I've been trying to get you to just watch it for like a couple. So like Rikishi is in it, The Rock is in it, um, Yokozuna uh, and Bloodline Big Bad Faction. Can done. I finish? What do you want me to speed up or now? Because now now the little tirade is going to take even more time. I was going to. I say, thought you were concerned about it. speed. Okay. Well, hold your horses. I did. <laughs> All right. Where's Orange? Um, there he is. So. Holding you horse. can explain it. You can explain it in like twenty minutes at max. Watching all of those TV programs is going to take like eight hours. No, it's going to take more. more than that, homie. Yeah, it's going to take. <laughs> it like will take. 40 it will take longer. Than more. That. Yeah, I'll take the twenty-minute explanation, please. Okay. Well, I'm just. All I'm saying is, it's. It is actually pretty good right now. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying I don't know what's happening, and I want to know, and I don't want to spend that much time watching it. So basically, well, George, I'll sum it up. I'll sum it up really quick. I'll sum it up in the back. Really quick. Basically, Roman was unstoppable for four years, right? Just about four years. Like when we were growing up, titles changed hands about every three to eight months, depending. And then the oh, like sometimes it was a lot sooner, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so like they would, it would, it would get tossed around quite a bit. But the longest I remember in like the ten years, ish. Like, that whole stretch was CM Punk at 434 days, which is a little over a year. Roman held it for just under three full or uh, four full years. So Roman's whole thing was he formed a faction with his actual, genuine, real-life family members, such as the Usos, Solo Sokoa. That's Jimmy and Jay. Yeah, Jimmy and Jay. Uh, this, this same family consists of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Rikishi, Yokozuna, it's a legendary... Umaga. Umaga. Uh, Rocky Johnson, The Rock's father. Uh, everyone. Rocky Balboa. Nope, not quite. Uh, not quite. He's unstoppable. Cody Rhodes, uh, his whole story was he felt underutilized in the WWE, so he went and started AEW, a whole other wrestling promotion, and WWE's biggest competition since the late 90s with WCW. And then Cody decided he wanted to go fulfill the dream that his father never did in winning the WWE Championship. Okay. And Cody Rhodes, his whole... He insisted on keeping his entrance theme, which starts with his own voice saying the words, wrestling has more than one royal family. That ties into the bloodline as well as his family line, which is the Rhodes family. His father uh, and his himself and his brother. Um, he came back, got a mega push. He got over with the fans in under a year. Uh, and everyone wanted Cody to be the one to go for it. Um, there are a lot of details I'm leaving out because it would take hours. Uh, but Cody goes up against Roman at WrestleMania 39 and he loses. He loses hard. And he spends the next year doing a lot of side quests with like Brock Lesnar and, and the like. Uh, getting himself even more over than he was before. Then he wins the Royal Rumble this year to get himself a title shot at any champion of his choosing, any world champion of his choosing, which is still Roman Reigns a year later. Mm -hmm. um, and so, he did win last year, too. Yeah, he won two Royal Rumbles back-to-back, -back, only four men in he, history. That's how he that. got... He Last year, it was Cody Roman at WrestleMania, and it was the same storyline. He's going to do it, he's going to do it, he's going to do it, but he didn't last year. And then he won the Royal Rumble again to prove that he could. Yeah. And so the lead up to WrestleMania this year was probably the best professional wrestling has ever been. Mm -hmm. um, 
the rock came back so here's the thing it, it got weird that was an issue. yeah the rock <laughs> the, everyone has wanted the rock versus roman reigns for like a decade because they are mm-hmm. related and it would be two mega stars mm-hmm. clashing and i was on team rock and roman because i want i still want to see that and i also wanted roman to surpass uh hulk hogan's title reign of 1447 days or 40 something days like that and roman it, it was about 100 days shy of that which upsets me but uh, the point is, um, Cody wins the Rumble, but then immediately gives The Rock his title shot, setting up Rock and Roman, and the fans went nuclear, genuinely nuclear, and WWE In had a bad to pivot. Way. Yeah, like bad nuclear. Yeah. So The Rock turned heel for the first time in 20 years and gave us the best work he has ever given, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. He was the most nasty villain because he's on the board of directors now since WWE is no longer its own company. It's uh, under TKO, which also TKO. owns UFC. So The Rock now is on the board of directors of TKO. So basically, he's the new Vince McMahon when it comes to power level. Yeah, but less than the assault. Yeah, there's none of that, hopefully, that I, that we hopefully. know of. Hopefully, um, yeah. But, Don't want to speak too, too soon. <laughs> yeah. So Triple H is if running. If all goes well, there won't be any of that. Yeah. Uh, it'd be harder for me to see The Rock doing that, but then again, I've been surprised before. So I'm just not going <laughs> to talk about it anymore and just continue with the story that um, The Rock turned into the most villainous, awful human being, and it was the best work he has done in ages. It was so entertaining uh, to the point to where... And uh, he he was great, and he got to the point where he was like, "I have an I have a proposition for you. You're going to face me and Roman on the main event of the first night of WrestleMania, and if you win, the Bloodline cannot get involved with the match because that was something that had been happening for the past two years. Is almost every Roman Reigns match had a Bloodline interference of some sort, which was getting yeah, old. Yeah, and Roman never actually... Well, not never, well, but the he, first, he would, the first few. F- the first two years were so dominant, and the second yeah. two years were so soft. Yeah, like, it hit the point where Roman couldn't win clean because the Bloodline would interfere. Yeah, and but that, not be, but, but But he would lose. He would be set up to lose and would lose without... Yeah. interference and it, but... it it was so disappointing because i liked the version of roman reigns that went up against daniel bryan and edge in the main event of wrestlemania yeah. and stacked them both and pinned them both like yeah. that was the roman that i wanted to continue seeing um but we didn't get that so what ended up happening was they fought at wrestlemania main event night one if roman and rock won the main event of the second night would be what's called bloodline rules, which is basically just no disqualification. Yeah, uh, with extra steps. It, it, that yeah. that was all the real thing, but they called it bloodline rules to be cool, and also because they're the bloodline. Yeah, but and that's really no change from what you would expect. It's no DQ, it, but but yeah. the first night, The Rock pinned Cody Rhodes, setting up a future match that hasn't happened yet, uh, to get bloodline rules instituted for night two. Night two's main event was Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns bloodline rules. In the first thirty minutes, actually, there were no anything. It was a genuine yeah, it was great just a match. match. Yeah, but then so then when does the bloodline interfere? Then the well the the bloodline did in fact interfere, and I almost encourage you to watch this part yourself. At least the last it's few the best. Minutes. It honestly, George, you were there, weren't you? No. We, we watched this at the house. Where were you? Probably in the basement. Yeah, that's where... George, we probably watched this part, like, three feet from you. It was the part where everyone interfered. Where was I? Probably right there, is what, what I'm saying. What day was this? It what was a was Sunday. <laughs> it was a Sunday. It was the, it was the... Oh, no, 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 no. That was, it was the night before the eclipse. You were gone. Yeah, no, I wasn't there. I have to take this shirt off as it looks great, but it's hot in here. Um, but it's periwinkle, so I will hold on to it. Um, ow, ow. Um, that's better than Gary Winkle. I guess I had um, my favorite associate put in his two weeks today. Broke my heart. Aww. His name was Gary. That's where that. 
popped up. Um, what's it? Uh, I honestly, I, obviously, you know, Cody Rhodes won. Okay. Yes. But I'm not going to tell you anything about the match because the last five minutes of that match is the best professional wrestling showcase I've ever seen. We screamed. We cried. I. We were children again. It, precisely. I jumped up on my couch and started doing a yeah. little jig. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was genuinely so good. Like I've, I haven't seen anything yeah. like that I, before. I don't ever. think. Cor and I don't think we'll wrong. ever see anything like that again. No. Correct me if I'm wrong, didn't like a bunch of old wrestlers start showing up? Sort of. Yeah, more or less. I, I don't, don't want to say who. I, I was going to say, I'm not going to say who or <laughs> what, when, in what order, because the way they did that was is, just... Is that why Cody was like the, the main face of 2K24? Oh, yeah. Well, he's been the well, biggest yeah, but... baby face for since he came back. Yeah. I think he I'm... was before they before that even that match even happened. Yeah, he's he okay, has but, like set up. But but point is, continue. Um. So now Cody is defending the title on every PLE, which is nice to see because Roman, the one thing that people criticized was he was on a part time schedule. Yeah. And uh, I I I don't like the part-time champions. I, I don't. Like, Logan mm -hmm. Paul is a part-time champion, and I hate it. And I love well, Roman Reigns. Like Logan Paul. <laughs> oh, I hate Logan Paul. But, like, I... I, I don't... I love Roman Reigns. In fact, I, I think I jumped on the... Once he turned heel, I was one of the first ones, at least in the people that I talked to about wrestling, that jumped on the Roman bandwagon. Because I just hated that he was Cena, too. He was Samoan Cena, basically. Yeah. And I hated that. So it was like, give him something new. And I, I just think that Vince was too afraid to put a heel on top because... You, oh, absolutely. When I feel like Roman kind of proved that the bad guy can be on top because it almost makes, but for better stories, the good guy chasing down the unstoppable yeah. bad guy like Lord of the Rings with, with Sauron or yeah. Darth Vader. Roman Reigns is the Darth Vader of WWE. Except, and then we, we got our Luke Skywalker in, mm. in Cody Rhodes. It just yeah, fit. and Paul Heyman's the emperor. <laughs> I love Paul Heyman. He's he's doing such isn't good he work, the, dude. Isn't he, like, isn't, he chubby, isn't he the chubby dude? The chubby bald dude? <laughs> sure, I, I, George. I, I mean, yes. Like he is. Dude, he, always, he, he really hyped up Brock Lesnar a few yep, times. Yeah, Brock Lesnar was outed to be a horrible person. Yeah. yeah. He sounds like he sounds Brock like the kingpin. Lesnar! <laughs> Yeah, he sounds like how I think the Kingpin would sound if he hadn't quite finished puberty. <laughs> That's actually really funny. No, uh, Paul Heyman is one of the best wrestling individuals. Anyone's, ever. yeah. Ever. Best man. And it really it really took me until, like, end of Roman Reigns stuff to actually realize that, because I remember really not liking Paul Heyman for the longest time. I just thought, I, I, I have never been a fan of Brock Lesnar. So his association yeah. with him never did any favors for me. But, like, once I saw, like, it was before he was called the wise man. It was, like, 2022, maybe, where, like, he was yeah. associated with. I liked the Brock and Roman. I hated their feud because it was overdone. But once Paul Heyman was involved and, like, split between the two, I liked that. Yeah. And having watching him actually have to be a character instead of just a hype man or a mouthpiece was, was nice. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm loving the current stuff with Solo. Yeah, Solo, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa. The, the names yeah. are just wicked. Now that I can tell them apart, <laughs> it's really nice. Well, here's the thing is I didn't know about Tama Tonga until yeah. um, the pay-per-view the other night. Mm -hmm. So, like, I we were – because we all get super loud for wrestling shows because I always have the same group no. of people over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so funny. And they were like – you. Here, shut up. And then he was like, here comes Tama Tonga. And I'm like, who's Tama Tonga? I just got <laughs> used to Tonga Loa. Like, <laughs> I can't tell them apart physically. Yeah, and it's, the way that I've sort of gotten to it is, um, Tama Tonga looks angry all the time. Yeah. And Tonga Loa looks like he's thinking all the time <laughs> yeah and like he he looks less outwardly aggressive which truthfully so, makes him scarier to me 
so just to recap, Bloodline was important because Roman Reigns is the almost... It, Roman Reigns was super dominant. Then Cody Rhodes said, you know what? I don't like you very much. And then beat him. More or less. Except yeah, but it, was it took over a like, long time. Yeah, it took like half a decade to tell the story. Cool. All Thank right, I'm, I'm going around putting lighting also around because um, half of the rooms are so dark. They are. I have dark vision. Uh, anyways. No, you don't. <laughs> no, he, he does. He's a vampire. Uh, actually, vampires don't get dark vision. Uh, I know this they because do. I'm the DM. They, they, do. they do. They do. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got me there. Okay, anyways, the next V-Blood we should kill is Ben the Old Wanderer, because he gives us pristine leather I'm... and a Shroud of the Ooh, Forest. we and need pristine need to leather make... to make the next... I'm saying make what you the next saying. armors. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'm gonna... Ah, no, I was gonna say I'm gonna go try to find him, but then I remembered it's the Cursed Forest. I will come with you. Just give me one second to respond to this text message. Okay, let uh... me unload my inventory, because seriously, how do I keep doing this to myself? You know, wouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, I was doing a thing forever ago. What we were doing when we shut the thing, I still need to make my saddle. Oh, you should do that before. Oh, we yeah, we, you do need to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do my best not to rush us tonight. I've noticed I've been doing that. What well, do you mean, you, wanna... doing, you, you yeah. always do that. Are you ready? It's because you wanted like it because like, you, <laughs> you wanted the whip and everything. I did. I think I'm just gonna you're upload like, the like, last 15 minutes like... raw because I've been mm. wearing. <laughs> I was wearing a periwinkle top, explaining professional wrestling. Yeah. I like that. You need to usually play don't do Empire. that. So. What do you say? You do. Touch? I would love to see Wrestling Empire on the channel. Wrestling Empire. What's that? So Wrestling Empire is... We talked like, about it last time. It's the game we talked about last time. Oh, got it, got it, got it. 